Hi, this is Sheridan. I'm the designer at Euclidean 3D, and this video is about how to assemble the Orter Niji laser adapter mount. So this is an Orter laser frame and a Niji laser block. Um, the materials you'll need, these are the 3D printed parts. You can buy them uh, through my Etsy store, or you can download the files to print yourself from Colts 3D. The links will be in the description. And the hardware parts that you'll need, you'll need three M6 nuts. You'll need a 120 millimeter M6 threaded rod. You'll need the cap nuts from the original Orter mount. And you'll need six M3 bolts. They can be anywhere between 10 and 15 millimeters long. Anything longer than that, they'll stick out the back. You'll also need a 2.5 millimeter uh, Allen head screwdriver or Allen head wrench. And you'll also need a 8 millimeter uh, socket. So we'll start with the, the wheel here. You're going to take the M6 nut and stick it in the wheel. And then you're going to put it right into the back plate. It should snap into place like that. And rotate nice and easy, but still stay in place. The next thing we do is we take our Z carriage and we're going to take our M6 threaded rod, put it just a little bit of the way onto our threaded rod, stick it through the top, put a nut on the inside, and rotate that until just a little bit sticks out the bottom of that lower nut. Once we have that, we can tighten this down. Where are the pliers? There we go. So now we have this hollow popsicle looking thing. And we take this and we stick it in our top leveling wheel. And we just keep spinning that until it's all the way in. Okay. Now what we do is we take our back plate you will need this back plate, don't skip it, because if you don't have this on, this bottom part of our carriage is going to hit this coupler over here. And that's, uh, that's going to prevent you from homing and make a really loud, annoying sound. So we take this back plate, and we have the not the rough side, but the flat side facing out towards you. Uh, this side was against the glass, so it's smoother. We put our carriage over that. Then we take our cap nuts, put them on one by one. These are printed in ABS. If you buy them through the Etsy store, you will uh, get them in ABS. So you don't have to try to print them in ABS yourself. Next we take our leaves. They also have a smooth side that was against the, the, the printer bed. We want the rough side out facing us. And we are going to tighten these bolts down with our 2.5 millimeter Allen head driver. And we're not going to tighten them all the way down until the very end, until all the bolts are in. If 
you're having trouble with this step and it still feels a little bit sticky, you can take some sandpaper to the bottom of this Z carriage and that should make it slide around a little smoother. Bring this up closer to me. Okay, next thing, last thing, is putting the Niji into the Z carriage. We're going to need to lower this by quite a bit. Okay, that should be good. So we take our Niji and we fold the wires over the top. And we angle it down in, and it's just going to kind of drop into place once you push it past the uh, top nut. There we go. And we are ready 